What's going on guys? How you guys doing out there? Happy Thursday to everybody out there. My name is Crimson Kai and welcome to my Pokemon Red Version Random Game Series. And what I mean by random is, is that basically, you know, I didn't, I only tweet the game out a little bit. I didn't random nothing. Everything still is the same. It's like, it's still got that, you know, that retro feeling, the back in the day feeling. The one thing I did was I updated everything, like the movesets to fit the black and white ages. Like, you know, not too far back. Not far right, but not that far back, you know? And basically, you know, all the Pokemon stats and, you know... Everything is basically the same, except just like I said, just the movesets, like, everything's been updated, if you un know what I mean. So, like, yeah, so basically, you know, it's still the same game, just the movesets are updated. That's it. So, yes, I'm excited about this game, because I've been wanting to do this game for a while now, and, you know, like I said, being, you know, this is my first game that I, my game series I've ever done in my channel, it's pretty exciting for me. So, I love about talking, let's jump right into this game. Let's go. The options, gonna change the settings and stuff like that, cancel it, and go to new game. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, people call me the Pokemon Professor. Hello Professor Oak. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. No, oh, good to know. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. Okay, cool. First, what is your name? Alright guys, so we're about to get into the name too. As you can see, we've got a few names already here for us. And that's Red, Ash, and Jack. I'm not going to pick neither one of them because like, neither one of them is my name. So let's go up here to a new name here. And we're going to obviously give him my name, which is Crimson. Oh, whoops. Not Crim. Crimson. Alright, so we got Crimson here. Right, so your name is Crimson. Yep. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what was his name again? Alright guys, so now as you can see, we got a rival here. And they already gave us a couple names like they did for my first character here. So let's see, we got Blue, Gary, and John. Now, Blue would work if, you know, if there was a possibility Gary, if I was Ash, and John, if I was some other dude. But I'm neither one of them, so let's go to new name here. And I'm going to basically pick the name that I've been using for a lot of my Pokemon games I play by, I don't know, off screen. And that's going to be Shen. That's right, I remember now his name is Shen. Crimson, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures, and with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh, man. Alright, guys, so as you can see, we're in the room. Our room here. And like I gotta say, you know, it looks so dang crappy like god look at this it's so retro like the feeling of it you know i mean even though it's crappy because you know it's like i said it's it's a retro game so i can't really expect much everything hd quality and stuff like that but you know what let's get our potion here oh and by the way before we start our adventure here guys i just want to give you guys a quick heads up here that i am doing like the voice character overs like i'm basically gonna talk over them like in different voices stuff like that but if you don't want me to then i'll just talk you know as my normal voice like i am right now but if you guys want me to talk, talk like give them like voices stuff like that over like professor oak's voice or rival shen's voice stuff like that let me know you know i'll take either or so right now this episode i'm just gonna do like you know me talking over the voice stuff like that for the next few episodes until you guys feel like you guys don't want me to so Let's jump right into this game. Let's go, guys. Let's see. Here goes our this woman right here. I think this is our mom. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak is next door. Look, is looking for you. Okay, so I guess we know Professor Oak's our neighbor, and that was our mother that we spoke to. So let's check next door here, see if we can get some answers to where Professor Oak is. Hi, Crimson. Shen is out, and Grandma left. Okay, so I guess that was Shen's mom or sister or something like that, some type of relative. So, maybe Shen knows where Professor Oak is. So, Shen, what's up? Yo, Crimson! Grimms isn't around! Okay, so I guess Shen doesn't know where Professor Oak is. Neither does our mother, and neither does their, their relative. So, let's go see if he's probably out in a different town. Wait, what? Hey, wait! Don't go out! Um... Oh, there he is. He popped out of nowhere. I guess he came out of my house. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. Okay, so I guess we gotta come with the professor. This is nice. Okay. So I guess we're gonna follow him to his lab, and I guess we're about to get our own Pokemon. Gramps, I'm fed up with 
Waiting. Shanna, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Crimson. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, and, my, and in my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Shen. You can have one, too. Alright, guys, here comes the point in time to point where we get to pick our very own Pokemon. So, as you can see, we got three Pokeballs here, and we only can have one Pokemon, so let's start by going by down the list and see what Pokemon is what. Let's start off with this one. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. A plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So, you want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur? Actually, I don't want the plant Pokemon Bulbasaur, but thank you for asking, Professor. Let's see what this one is. Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell and powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. So, you want the water Pokemon Squirtle? No, I don't, but thank you, Professor. But, and then this leads the last Pokemon. Let's see what this one is. Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. Obviously, prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to sprout from the tip of its tail. So you want the fire Pokemon Charmander? Yes, I do, Professor. This Pokemon is really energetic. Crimson, I received a Charmander. Do you want to give a nickname to the Charmander? Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. So here comes our nickname here for our first Pokemon friend right here. And I read the name already, so don't judge me about the name here. I actually, you know, kind of thought kind of outside the box. So let's see here. I'd like to name you Burnya. Me, Burnya the Charmander. I'll take this one then. Alright guys, so now we got a Pokemon here. I guess it's time for us to leave then. Wait, what? Wait, Crimson! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on. Alright, so I guess we're gonna do our first ever battle with our rival, known as Shen. Shen wants to fight. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Shen sits out a Squirtle. Okay, cool. At least we know what Pokemon he has. Let's go, burn ya! We're gonna take this Squirtle down. Let's use give him a scratch. Oh, came with a full final tackle. Go give him a scratchy, scratch, scratchy over here. Scratch you up. Hmm. Give him a little telly whip, huh? Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, you're gonna keep coming with the tail whips now. Alrighty. Jesus, this is gonna be this guy is like taking like a lot longer than I thought. Alrighty, and Squirtle's down for the count. Let's get a little experience here. Oh, we got level six. Nice. Awesome. Dang, our attack is like weak. What unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! We got $175 for winning, nice. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Crimson, Gramps, smell you later! Okay, so later, Shen, I guess, so peace out, dude. Alright, so let's check out let's check out Poke new Pokemon that we have over here. Me burn ya, the Charmander. And his attack is nine, defense is Well, I mean, one thing I can say with the Pokemon based on my research of Pokemon that I've learned over the years from both not only me or my friend but my friends here, and I know that he has a very not he's he's good at tanking a lot of moves. And he's kind of fast for for you know, for his, his first evolution, but his attack is very low, and I don't know if that's actually going to be good for future battles, unless you know we can get his attack to go up or we get a second partner. But in a up in a good part though, he could tank he could take a lot of uh, like a lot of hits. So you know that's good you know to know you know. So let's go ahead and take a look around. We got a Pokemon. I guess we gotta go exploring or whatever like that for a bit, and we have our first battle, which is a wild rat attack. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some live training in order for, get, or in order for us to get Bernie, you know, at a, you know, a, a worthy, strong opponent, you know? I mean, it's good that, you know, he can take a lot of hits, but even from the way his attack is, I mean, like, that's kind of bad, so we gotta do some training along the way, too. Especially before our first gym battle. Okay, he's just gonna, like, keep on attacking us. And it's down for the count. We get 21 experience, and we level up, nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so his attack didn't change at all, which is not good at all. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Like I said, it's the beginning of the game. Anything can happen, right? So, let's see here what else we can... What else we got? Hmm. Alrighty. Wait, hold on. Just one second, guys. I'll be right back.
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had to do a little quick looking at stuff real quick. Alright, but back to where we left off. Did I heal Bernie by any chance? No, I didn't. Okay. So, first things first, let's check out the Pokemon so we can buy any items, stuff like that, out of here, just in case. Hey, wait, what? Hey, you get from Ballot Town! You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Okay, um, I guess we gotta take something to Professor Oak. Alright, uh, cool, cool. Okay, say hi to Professor Oak for me! Alright, there, no problem. Um, I don't even know your name, but sure. I'll just be like the Pokemon guy, say hello. Um, alrighty, so now we got ourselves a package that I have no idea what it's for. But we're about to find out once we get to Professor Oak now, will we, guys? Alrighty, so after doing the little back and forth walking around, I know this episode has been really never walking around, but trust me, guys, this, this episode is going to get a lot better and better in, like, future episodes. Okay, so we got ourselves a second battle here. Let's see what we got. A Ratatat? Okay. Okay, so it's... I think, I think once... Let me see. Oh, that's that's kind of strong, actually. Goodbye. Hmm. Alright guys, we're back into town here. Let's go on ahead and check out what's going on in the... See what we have here that came with Professor Oak's package. Professor! Oh, Crimson! That was my old Pokemon. Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be as talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? And we gave him this package. So let's see what this package is, sir. Ah, the custom Pokeball I ordered. Pokeball? Excuse me. Thank you! Okay. Gramps! What'd you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you of you two. Okay. On the decks there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It is a high-tech encyclopedia. Crimson and Shen, take these with you. Oh, uh, sweet, so we got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. Nice. To make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old and I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it to me. Leave it all to me. Crimson, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. Oh, that was a sister. I'll tell you. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Crimson. Ha 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 ha. Okay, well, I screw you then, Shen. I don't need you. I can just ask her myself, and I bet you she'll give it to me, huh? Little, ugh, can't even say it. This is, a, this is such an old game. So I can't like, you know, go overboard with the negative comments. Grandpa, asked you run an errand? Here, this will help you. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you. You gave me a town map. Thank you, Shen's sister. You're very nice. Unlike your brother, you know, he's a total, you know, he's a total butt butt face. But you know, that's besides the point. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We got ourselves another battle here. Oh, a Pidgey. Nice. All right, so now... Okay, we're gonna have ourselves a little baddie battle battle here. Okay. God, man. Bernie's attacks are so weak. Like, this doesn't make any sense, but he could take hits, though, like a champion, but his attack is weak. And landed a critical. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna skip until I reach the next town, so I'll be right back in one second. Alright, guys, I'm back. And, yeah, sorry about that. But what I, I didn't really do too much. All I did was skip to the next, well, I'm at the same town, which is very City, but I just didn't want to go through the hassle of going through, like, Pokemon battles and stuff like that. But I bought me some Pokeballs here, as you, as you can see. I got me some Pokeballs here, so we can catch some Pokemon. And let's keep moving onward to the next area where we're supposed to go. So let's keep moving, guys. La, 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 la. Do, 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 do. About to catch us some Pokemon here. Let's see what po let's see if we can catch Pokemon here. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, a Pidgey. Nice. And a level three Pidgey. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see what we can. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can catch it. Alrighty. A little gusty gust here. Let's tell his attack is kind of low. Alright. Let's see. Hopefully we don't 
No, just to save, just not, not, to, just hope that we don't kill it. We're gonna, I'm gonna go for the catch. Come on, Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Nice. We got ourselves a Pidgey here, guys. That is awesome. Alrighty. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. A common sight in the forests and woods, it flaps its wings in ground, at the, gr at ground level to kick up the binding blinding of sand. Okay, do you want to name uh, Pidgey? Yes, we want to name our new Pidgey. And I have a good name for him because, you know, he, because he reminds me of so much like, a, like another bird I know. I decided to name him. Meet Eagle. Oh, wait. Eagle Eye the Pidgey, guys. Alright. Alright, so let's keep moving onward.